Hello friends, good afternoon. It's Tuesday at 2. I'm so excited to welcome you to my Facebook page. My name is Genevieve Ko, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Markham, Ontario, Canada. But I love to share and serve stamping all across the country, all across the world. I've been a demonstrator now for over 14 years. This fall will be 15 years as a demonstrator. And to be totally honest, I started just to share stamping with others. Well, really, I started to save a little money on my own stamping, but then I discovered it's way more fun to enjoy it with other people. So that's how I uh, started just sharing with some friends and sharing with their friends and things grew from there. And I discovered that there's something so beautiful about sharing stamping with others and enjoying that community. So welcome to all of you who are entering into the fun of Tuesday at two and my Stampin' for Fun world. Hi, Kathy, I'm glad you're here. I hope I'm here on the right day at the right time. <laughs> um, I know uh, things have been really busy, not just for me, but for other people. So it's so great when we can just take a breath and take a moment and enjoy a little bit of crafting uh, fun together. Uh, I love to share something new each week. I love to just connect with you. It's so great to just see your comments. So go ahead and let me know that you're here. Let me know what's going on. Hi, Lisa. So I do like to draw a winner each week from the comments. So last week's winner um, was Diane Cluck. And I don't think I have your address, Diane. So if you don't mind messaging me your address, then I can send you a little happy mail. I've got it in an envelope here. So um, I hope you get this message. I know sometimes Facebook is funny, but hopefully I tried to tag you so that you know to um, message me your address so I can send it away. So I wanna make sure you guys know, I've shared this in Tuesday at two before, but I'm just gonna share again because uh, you know more communication is always better. I am going on an adventure this summer. So, Starting this Sunday, this Sunday, I'm supposed to be leaving to Thunder Bay and I'll be um, just serving on a service project with an organization up there uh, doing some volunteer work. So that will be for a week in Thunder Bay and then uh, I'll be basically home for less than 24 hours and then heading to um, uh, sorry heading to Shakutami, Quebec. All of a sudden, I just realized like, oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to have such a quick turnaround. What if my flight is delayed and I miss the other flight? And anyway, so, so uh, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know whether I should make my flight later or what to do. There's not that many flights going into Shakutami, Quebec, so I don't think I have a ton of options. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me just see here. Hang on a minute. Lisa is saying, besides buying storage containers, any ideas how to store pads or ink? Uh, well, the great thing about our ink pads is that they are, actually, they are actually designed. There's like tiny little dots here and tiny little divots here. So you can actually just, you don't need any special storage container. They just stack really nicely on top of each other. Um, so you could just put them on your table or any kind of shelf would probably work. Um, but yes, I mean, there is a reason why Stampin' Up! Um, came out with these storage containers uh, because they are really handy. Here, I don't know whether you can see them there. So you can just purchase them from the online store, from the catalog. Um, for the markers, they're perfect. I have seen other containers for markers where people will put them into kind of like a, um, a bag almost. So... Uh, that's helpful if you're transporting them places, but I do most of my crafting at home, so I like the storage containers. Sorry, I can't be more help there. Um, yes, it is a warm day, Rita. So anyway, I don't know if I finished my story about how I'm going to be gone for six weeks. So originally I had planned, like I had these grandiose plans. Do we ever get grandiose plans? And then as the day approaches, you realize Maybe you can't be grandiose as you thought, as great as you thought. I thought I could literally do everything that I do normally in a month 
just do it virtually and just do it ahead of time. So um, I'm going to be totally honest. It's not working out that well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty good. Like I have the July Technique class um, designed, cut, um, pretty much prepared, but there's just, I, you know, all these things like the Tuesday at two, I am still hoping to hop on every Tuesday at two, but, um, maybe it won't be completely live. Maybe there'll be a video that's just kind of, um, scheduled. So still hop here. You're in exactly the right place. Tuesday at two, come here for some stamp and inspiration. Um, originally I had thought I would design a brand new project for every week in July while I'm gone and pre-record it. But now I'm thinking I've done a couple because next week I'll be gone. Um, I have pre-recorded that and hopefully it'll go off without a hitch. Technology is always one of those like hit and miss things. Uh, so hopefully it'll go as expected. And if it's not, don't panic. I am probably fine. It probably just means the technology just like didn't work as expected. Okay, so... Um, I, I won't be in my craft room for six weeks, but I will be around in Canada somewhere um, having adventures and I will do as much as I can to just update my blog or hop on here and tell you what's going on. So I just don't want any of you, I know many of you kind of watch regularly. I don't want you to be nervous um, if you don't see a post when you expect or if things are a little um, different than usual. It's just because I'm having adventures and I'm excited to have adventures and don't worry, I'm going to share them with you as much as I can. Uh, so yes. So some of my Tuesday at two videos, um, might not be a full card. It might just be done like showing some product or it might be sharing a video that Stampin' Up made, but, um, I will aim to have some kind of stamp and inspiration each week on Tuesday. So you can always plan to tune in and just comment, even though if you know that it's a recording and maybe it's not as fun to comment because it's not live, please comment because then I'll still like know that you're watching and I'll still have a way to connect with you and I'll it'll just make my heart happy even if I can't join you at exactly the same time. If I'm looking at the comments later, it'll just make my heart happy. So um, don't be shy to keep commenting and connecting with me even while I'm gone for six weeks on my adventure. And uh, don't be surprised also if you, you randomly tune in and I'm speaking French on one of my videos because I'm going to a French immersion program in Quebec. And so I'm gonna really challenge myself to be speaking French. And so I might just hop on like, I don't think I'll have quite the same vocabulary in French. And because I learned to stamp when I was in, um, you know, I learned to stamp in English. So just some of the words, I don't think I'll know, but I've already found a demonstrator in Shakutami who, um, maybe she'll spend some time with me helping me with the vocabulary. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, Kathy's saying you haven't trained Kevin to take over yet. <laughs> Funny story. I keep making comments to Kevin, but like it sort of takes time to train someone and it's, I feel like not enough time, not enough time to train him on all the things that I do in here in this messy craft game. Um, so he, he did kind of say to me, are you going to show me how to place orders and like, how do I log in? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I'm sure I'll get to that. I'm sure I'll show you, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> he's a smart cookie. I think he'll actually figure it out. I mean, if I figured it out and I hardly, when I started Stampin' Up, I hardly knew how to use computers and stuff. So um, I think it'll be fine. But I, what I will do, if you guys are on my newsletter list, you'll get an email before I leave that has Kevin's contact information so that you can always reach out to him and let him know if you want to place an order or let him know if like you received an order and something was damaged or you have a question about how to sign up for a class or you need to send an e-transfer. You can still send an e-transfer to like my regular address, but if you forgot my email, you can ask him like all that stuff. That's totally fine. I'm sure he'll be fine with it. He's finishing his last week of school next week and then, I mean, he'll still have to work a bit, but it won't be you know, as crazy as it is during the school year. So anyway, that's a long explanation just to let you guys know that things are in the works for me to be heading off, leaving my craft cave for six weeks. I'm not leaving you guys. I'm not leaving stamping. I'm not leaving stamping up or anything. I'm just having some summer adventures uh, because I've always wanted to improve my French and I have been wanting to go back to Thunder Bay to serve. So it just seemed 
I don't know, it just the timing seemed to just go for it, you know? Um, so yeah, I love you. I'm just reading Debbie's comments. See, I love connecting with you live. It's going to be really weird when they're recordings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. See, you guys and your affirmation, it just means a lot. Um, Debbie's saying, just go with the flow, enjoy your time away. And uh, yes, like I'll be back live in August, probably sometime. Um, you'll still see me. And as I said, I'll probably hop on live here and there and just do some French videos so I can keep practicing my French and hop on live and see you guys. So, but that might, won't be as scheduled probably. It'll probably be a bit random depending on what my schedule's like. So I am excited. We are nearing the end of June. So just a few reminders, things you need to sign up for, things you need to do. Let me flip my camera over so I can show you my tabletop and give you some reminders, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and share the video with friends so that they can get some inspiration as well. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so as you guys know, this is the link, kind of the master link. Uh, for some reason, when I typed it into Facebook, Facebook didn't like this link, but that's but I'm still pointing it out because I wrote it here. Um, it is a really good link to go to. You can just type it in your browser, link tree slash stampin' for fun. The dot is between the R and the EE, -E, and it has all my important links. So if you want to shop, if you want to... Um, request a catalog if you want to um, join my team if you want to sign up for upcoming classes all of those links are there um, okay a few announcements you know what guys I need to I need to get my glasses hang on a sec <laughs> okay announcements June means it's time to sign up for July classes. I've been working ahead since the pandemic started and it's actually better because that way those of you who are picking up packets, you can um, kind of come and do one pickup and pick up all your class packets for the month and stuff like that. So let me just give you a few reminders of classes that are happening in July. I have a little class schedule here, so hopefully uh, this will work. So in July, what you can get prepared for is Tuesday, July the 5th, 2 p.m. In this Facebook page, I'm going to be doing kind of like a kickoff party for the holiday catalog and celebration. So even though I'm not here in my craft cave, hopefully the recording will work and um, I have tons of swap card samples to show you. I'll be doing some stamping. Um, and yeah, I hope you'll be inspired because that's a big time of year, uh, a summer celebration and a holiday catalog. Okay. Um, my technique class in July, the technique that we're doing is, um, baby wipe technique. So we're actually going to make three sort of cards. Well, they're definitely cards, not sort of cards, but I was going to say step up cards that use the baby wipe technique. So if you wanna learn about that, make sure you register, just go here, you can register. Um, that's the class that you can get free with an order on the night of the class. So uh, here, the order must be between July 18th to the 25th, okay? And once you register, I'll know that you're part of the class, I'll make sure you get your packet. Uh, the shipping is $5 if you need your packet mailed to you, or you can pick it up. Okay, uh, friendly hello, virtual card class. So as you notice, all the things will be virtual in July. There's no Zooms, there's no in-persons because I won't be in the province. But um, I still wanted to give you, because I know summer is a great time for crafting. Often many of you have more relaxed schedules so that you can enjoy the classes. So the friendly hello, virtual card class, there's only six spots left for this. Let me show you... Um, some samples of that class okay so they're using just soft pretty colors okay and the great thing is everything's going to be pre-cut for you and die cut for you you'll actually get a quarter pack of this beautiful designer series paper if any embossing is needed that'll be done ahead of time for you you'll get the envelopes you'll actually get um, a whole package of gems so yeah, it's a great value. It's only $45. And what's even um, 
awesome, awesome value, awesome, awesome value, is that you will get the stamp set as well. So some of you may recognize the stamp set as a previous celebration release. I had a few extra, so I'm happy to give them away to you when you sign up for this class. You get to make eight cards two of each design. I only have six spots left. Those of you that already own this stamp set, no problem. Um, I can give you a different one, um, whatever. So, but it pretty much does come with the class. So it's an amazing value for $45. Okay. If you need shipping, uh, it is an extra $20 more for direct shipping. I think it's $20. Yeah. Add $20 if you need shipping. Cause you're good. I think you're going to be getting a spool of ribbon too as well in the Canada Post. If it's not like letter thin, then you have to pay as though it's a parcel. It doesn't matter that it's not a giant parcel, but. Okay, so that is that class. Uh, you need to register as soon as possible because I'm going away, but by July the 1st at the latest, but it's always better if I can order supplies earlier. Okay, the other class that's going to be really popular is the Christmas in July class. So um, some of the products I'm using in the Christmas in July class are like some new papers, some new goodies. Um, here's a quick sneak peek of one of the cards. Okay, so again, I know some of you are, love to make handmade Christmas cards, but why wait until like stress in November and there's so many Christmas parties, things to do, things to prepare. So same thing, you'll be making eight cards. I don't know where the fourth design is, but two of each design. And um, I'm really excited about it. So that one is a $10 shipping charge. Um, but if you register for both classes, then you just have to pay the one shipping charge for the friendly hello. And it's $49. Okay, it doesn't include the stamp set, but it'll include some nice goodies uh, as well as all the pre-cut pieces. So Christmas in July, I know that's really popular. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. A um, little sneak peek of the Memories Matter scrapbooking. I know some of you have not scrapbooked before, but my Memories Matter scrapbooking class is... Uh, an amazing value. Hi, Katerina. It's an amazing value because you will get um, lots of designer series paper. You actually get half a pack of designer series paper. You'll also get a package of the new memories and more texture sheet cards and step-by-step uh, -step instructions to create your layout um, as well as pre-cut pieces, um, package of the new uh, gems, these flower gems. So even though you use a little bit on the layout, you have tons more to create, tons more supplies to create more layouts. Really, you're getting over $30, $35 worth of supplies um, and new product. Um, you'll get to make your two, two pages in a two hour Zoom crop time. So uh, it's a great value. And I know the layout might not look interesting with no pictures on it, but let me tell you, this is a lay, I can't remember, this is from Memories Matters a few months ago. Once you put the pictures on, it makes your life come alive. Like you're really preserving memories. And this was one of the layouts from, um, from a previous month. And so that's what we do during our crop time. We put our pictures on, we do our journaling, we use the extra pieces in our kit to create more layouts. And um, I think it's just such a precious time. So please give it a try, the Memories Matters class. Uh, if you've never tried it before, you can hop on and register. Um, and if you decide to become a Memories Matters subscriber, you actually save $3 per month. You also get um, a product credit after you've done seven Memories Matter classes. So it's a great deal. And part of it is just, I'm excited to help you preserve your precious memories. Um, okay, someone texted me and I touched the screen. I should never do that, okay? Hopefully you're still there. Comment, like something so that I know I didn't accidentally kill kill the feed okay so those are the announcements for july oh and um i okay i see lots of laughy faces okay we're okay yay okay <laughs> via technology i love it okay um june okay june 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 things to know about june 
is that we are in the last chance period here. And so from the spring mini catalog, this baby, okay, we are on the last chance of these. Many things are retiring. Actually, this wonderful windmill die, this paper, um, the tulip paper, which I know was a big hit this year. For example, this stamp set is retiring. So a lot of things are retiring and will not be carrying over or coming back. So, and some of them are up to 50% off. So you're going to want to head to my online store and check the last chance list um, so that you can nab everything before they're gone. Whoa, I almost forgot to talk about like huge thing today. I'm going to write it in big so that I can mention it free shipping today okay today only free shipping today only if you live local to me you can give me your order i will input it for you because i'm putting in a group order so just just get it to me asap right after this video i'm going to be working on the group order um if you're shopping online, then your order needs to be a minimum of $100 to get the free shipping. But as I said, if you live local and you think your order only comes to like $80 or whatever, then you can uh, give me your order and I'll group it so that you can still get the free shipping. Okay. Uh, although if you live further away, I don't know if it's really worth it because of the gas, <laughs> the cost of gas nowadays is probably more worth it for you to get more product and make sure your order is at least $100. Okay. But this is a big deal. Um, so make sure you take advantage of that. So that's a great way to get those things off the last chance list. A great way to get free shipping because now shipping is, I mean, Shipping is what it is, right? So when Stampin' Up! is giving free shipping, it's like, woohoo! Yeah, Katerina wrote, woohoo! Yes. Um, and then the other thing you can take advantage of with the free shipping is getting the kits. So kits are right now buy one, get one half off. So buy one, get one half off anything in the kits collection. So if you go to my link here, there's actually a direct link to the kits collection. You'll see what's available. Now, Katerina was actually pointing out a really cool thing. The first kit you put in is full price. The second kit you put in is half off. So um, some of the kits are lower priced. Some are higher priced. So I think what you can do is you can put in the lower priced one first and get the higher priced one half off and then plus the free shipping. I mean, the savings are great today. So I know one of the kits um, is like a tag bag kind of kit, which is pretty um, um, at, on a lower price point. So just put that one in first and then you can get come, some of the more expensive kits at half off. Okay, so big day today. June 21st. I'm glad that I wasn't like in the far reaches of the north and couldn't tell you about it because they did not give us any warning. Like it was basically Saturday night they told us. So just gave us a few days to kind of get things organized, but I wanted to make sure you knew about that. You can message me your order. You can shop online. If you do shop online um, and your order is $60 or more, hopefully you're on my email newsletter list. You would have gotten the host code to use. Um, Da, da, da. Uh, you will get a free package of the in color opal rounds as a thank you for your order as well just for today with the free shipping um, you'll also get um, as long as your order is a hundred dollars online you'll also get a free calming camellia stamp set okay so that is just a special kind of an extra perk from me so that you can take advantage, just give you another reason to take advantage of that offer today. Okay, what else do I have to tell you? Keep commenting, let me know if you have any questions, let me know how I can help you. Who remembers what our product of the month is? It's the Charming Sentiments. All of June, I've been kind of showcasing this. So here are the coordinating dies. It's so awesome to have dies that coordinate with the stamp set. Okay, so here, it's actually better to look at the cover. You can't go wrong with all these really functional um, sayings and it's just a win-win when you've got the dies to cut them out. Okay, and the dies, there's actually bonus pieces as well. 
Okay, so I should try to use those, but I didn't even use those in my cards. <laughs> but they look really fun. I think in the catalog you can see, like, this candle one is really neat. So, um, yeah, that's what we've been showing all month. And uh, who remembers our first, yeah, in the first week of June, we showed this one. It is so lovely, so, so lovely. And don't forget the Hues of Happiness bundle is the feature tutorial bundle that I'm giving away this month. Any orders $100 or more will also get 12 um, written and video tutorials from demonstrators around the world, exclusive projects using this suite. But um, this was card for the first card for June. And then last week, do you remember we did this one? using the um, a wash, is it a wash in beauty? Is that what it's called, a wash with beauty? Let me see. It's this gorgeous designer series paper, a wash in beauty. Yes, a wash in beauty, okay? So this week we're gonna still stick with this designer series paper because I am doing another card. Um, as I shared, it's actually what we've been doing what we're going to be doing tonight at our team stick celebration. So every month I have a stamping night just for my team girls. So if you're curious to check out our team vibe, find out a little more of like what it's, you know, what's the big deal? Why would I want to be on team stick? I think it's fun to be on team stick. We have the, in my humble opinion, we have the most creative stampers across Canada. Um, we're having fun together this past Saturday. I had some of the girls over in my backyard. We just hung out and each month we get um, projects. So these are the same projects that we're showing um, that we're going to be doing in Team Stick tonight. So this was last week I showed you guys. And then this week, well, maybe I'll make the card so I won't give it away. Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's start. We're using still the Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper. Um, I pre-cut it just because I have so many things that I wanted to do. I thought it might help to have it a little bit prepared. So this, oh, I'm glad you love the stamp set. Okay, so it's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So this card has a little bit of sort of a different front to it. Okay, so this is kind of your normal card. But then what I'm going to do is I am going to put this um, score line at the two and a quarter inch mark. Maybe it's better if I... Okay, so we're just gonna kind of around the two and a quarter inch mark there. And I'm just gonna cut off the front part. Okay, so it just gives like sort of a little different um, look. Hi, Gail! How are you? Good to see you dropping in. Okay, so I think that's all we'll need right now. Okay, and then here is another way to show off this beautiful designer series paper. Okay, so we're going to put it inside the card. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to write your message. Um, so I think we can go ahead and stick that down. Okay, so this just gives you a different kind of, just different kind of front to the card, just something a little different I thought you guys would like to see. Okay, and then see if you can write your message, you can put this inside to write your message. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is, well, I'm stamping the inside first, but there's a nice saying here, because you totally deserve it. So the fun thing about these sentiments is that um, you can use them with the dies or without the dies. So in this case, I'm just gonna stamp it. So I'm not using the dies. Okay, but if we wanted to, we could. And I'm going to use, I think, a mossy meadow. Um, where's the mossy meadow? I don't know whether old olive is better. Hang on. Let's see. See, when I'm in doubt, I look on the back of the designer series paper here. Yeah, mossy meadow. 
um, is the color. See, I'm pretty good there. I can, I can recognize what's on there. So let me just ink it up. Okay, and we'll stamp that. There we go. And then um, we can actually, did I pre-cut it? Or maybe I can check, because we could use, oh, it is here. I think this is the little heart from, remember I said I didn't think I used any of them? Let's see, is this the same heart? From the die set. I have the worst memory. Yep. Okay, so there is another example of how these dies, they don't just cut out the words, but they have these little bonus things, the stars, the hearts, they're like little bonus, bonus parts. Okay, those of you who are Team Stick Girls and don't want to see tonight's project, I guess you'll just have to close your eyes. Because I am kind of double doing things. Okay, so we can stick that on. And this will be where you can kind of sign your name on the card. It's kind of a neat and different fold here. Okay, and we don't want to show this part off, so we're actually going to put this piece here. But before we stick it on, we're going to kind of decorate this front panel. And again, we're using that Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper. Okay, and we'll adhere that on. Okay, and then this is using the stitched rectangles, same as this, the stitched rectangles, so they fortunately carried over from the other catalog. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere a vellum cardstock onto the balmy blue, but I'm going to put my adhesive down here because I'm going to put, put the words down here, but this way I can kind of hide the adhesive with the words, hopefully. Okay, and then let's pick our sentiment here. So one that goes with because you totally deserve it is wishing you the happiest of birthdays because you totally deserve it, see? So let's uh, get that, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Just clean the stamp. I can't live without my stamp and scrub. Let's clean that. Yeah, because you totally deserve it. There we go. Okay. And then let's stamp that onto our little strip of basic white. And then we're going to use the die to cut it out. What do you guys think of this fun, fun kind of fold here? Something different, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not good. Let's try again. <laughs> it's missing the bottom part. Okay, let's try again. Let's see if Genevieve can do a better job stamping. It's not like I've never stamped before. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so let's use our dies and cut that out. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky to figure out which one we need. And you can always use a little bit of a, you know, painter's tape or washi tape to kind of cut that out. Let's get our little mini cut and emboss guy. Okay. 
So are you guys feeling inspired with this paper and with this um, bundle? <laughs> so if you haven't bought the Charming Sentiments yet, just know that they are here for you. They are waiting for you to use them. Yeah, <laughs> Pat's like, I like this fold. So many ideas, my head spins. Yes, that's why we need more crafty time so we can realize all our crafty <laughs> things that we want to try, right? Okay, hopefully I didn't move the die too off kilter. Not bad. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Okay, so that's kind of a fun... Put that over here. Very important to put the dies away before you lose track of where they are. Okay. Okay, so let's finish off our card. See how we can put that down here. Okay. And then uh, you could use a little mini dimensional to pop it up. I think I used up all my mini dimensionals. So I might have to, oh no, this will fit. I thought I might need a mini dimensional, but the full size one fits. So guys, yeah, don't forget. I feel like there's so many things going on. We might forget about the free shipping today only. And that's a big deal to save shipping for sure. Oops. Well, that's not so fantastic there. Somehow I got the ink onto the vellum. Oh, well, it's a handmade card. We'll have to be okay with it. And this ribbon, I just want to tell you where it comes from. Do I have it here? There. Okay. It is the old olive and Sahara sand twill ribbon combo pack. Okay. Just so that you can kind of see where it comes from. Uh, these these colors actually work really well for Christmas too. I was using when I was doing the Christmas in July cards. I was using this ribbon. Okay. So what we'll do? Well, I feel sad about that ink splotch, but whatever. We'll just uh, flip that over. Tape the ends at the back. There we go. And we'll tie a little knot here. There's my little trick again. I find this a, an easy little trick to kind of make it look like I wrapped all the way around, but I didn't. Okay. And then we'll put a little heart here. This heart actually comes from the Give It a Whirl dies. It doesn't come from the Charming sentiments but very useful nonetheless yes yes you know what ribbon is great to stamp on sarah i just saw sarah's comment about stamping on ribbon this one's kind of thin to stamp on but you could um do i have any it? it is that fat linen anyway it's called like a natural ribbon natural something and it's it's like fat ribbon and it's great for stamping on too. Okay, so let's finish this off. Okay, so I'm just gonna position it so that we've got that nice border around. And so I'm not putting adhesive on the bottom because I don't wanna seal it shut. I'm just putting the adhesive on the top. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that is kind of a different fold, a different front for the card using the Charming Sentiments bundle and also the same paper that we used last week, the Awash and Beauty. 
So hopefully you feel a little inspired to craft and take out your supplies. Maybe try this new foal. And of course, anything you need to shop for, I'm here to help. Any classes, if you want more inspiration, I really recommend signing up for my classes because I make crafting easy. I pre-cut everything, I give instructions, um, and it's kind of like getting your craft on without having to worry about digging up all the, coming up with all the ideas. So I'm happy to inspire. It's part of what I do and part of what I love. Let me flip this around. So. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, yeah, I've got my team stick shirt on because we've got our little team get together tonight. So uh, if you wanna check out the vibe, I'd love to have you join in and just uh, enjoy the experience. Just let me know and I'll send you the Zoom link. Okay, have a great week, everybody. And we will see you next week right here, Tuesday at two. Even if I'm out doing something else, um, hopefully technology will not fail me because I have a great project to share next week. So it'll finish off and round off our uh our showcase on the charming sentiments bundle and we'll also give you a little sneak peek of what's coming in july okay so make sure that you join me here next week tuesday at two as well as the week after uh the beginning of july there'll be a like tuesday and two on steroids there'll be like a whole walk through to the holiday catalog and wait for you to enjoy that okay have a great week everybody Bye.